Hi, my name is Simo and I'm a Notion certified consultant and ambassador. In this video, we're looking at Notion page layouts. That's a brand new feature that Notion released in mid-October 2024. And by the end of the video, you will be able to understand exactly what the feature means for you, how to use it and how you can implement it in your system to make sure that your pages in databases look better and more well organized based on the specific information that you want to see and that you can group together in the new layout builder. This is a Notion page and some of these are databases. For example, if I open objectives, I know that this is a database and a database in Notion is composed of multiple pages. So each card on this view is a page that I can visualize in different ways. And whenever I open a page in a database, at the very top, there are database properties. These are the columns, the qualitative or quantitative data points that you want to track about whatever that database is about. In this case, it is an objective, so I know that for objectives in OKRs, I want to track the department, the quarter, the date range, description. So all of these data points are properties in my database. And whenever I open a page until a few days ago, I can only organize properties like so, vertically stuck. Besides the wiki, that is a special type of database where properties are organized horizontally. But I wouldn't have any option to customize the layout as I want. The main customization that I had was to hide properties either conditionally or always hide or always show that I can do still now by opening the property visibility panel here and I could also minimize relation properties like this one so that they show at the bottom of the page instead of as a property now with the layout builder I can customize the page layout on any database as I want for example here is a page and if I click on customize layout I now open the page layout builder and I can also select what page I want to preview from the database. And in here I can set the page settings that I can find here on the right hand side. I can set inline comments as minimal. That is, if I leave a comment on the page, it will look like a small icon on the right hand side than block instead of being a preview the comment. And I can select page discussions, whether they are expanded or off. Page discussions are the comments at the top of the page here. I can either hide them or keep them shown, which is the default. And these customizations have always been present. Right now, they are just designed in a different way in this new layout builder feature. But an additional option that I have is I can also hide property icons. And property icons are here. On each property, there is an icon that are also customizable. But if I toggle this off, then the properties just have the name of the property without any icon, which can make the design look a bit cleaner and more text-based as opposed to graphics-based. Okay, and then the second thing that I can see on the layout builder is that there is a heading and there are pinned properties. Then there are property groups. So this is where I can show the properties and I can group them by specific sections. And then there are relation groups and I can add also additional sections here. And the second thing that I notice is on the right hand side, there is the panel. And the panel is a way to add properties on the right hand side of the page. So let's set up the layout right now so that uh, you can see exactly what it looks like on a live page. So in here, I'm gonna click on the heading and uh, I want to pin some properties so that they appear at the very top of the page right here. In this case, I know that the most important properties here are area. I know that also quota is quite important. I wanna have the status and the date range. I can pin four properties maximum, as you can see here. Now I can't pin anymore. So these are okay for me. Now, if I click on property group, I can then see here that there are these properties displayed and if I want to break them down into sections, I can click on add the section and maybe I can add a section for, for example, essentials where I can have description, etc. Then let's add another section that is formulas, maybe. So essentials, we're going to put it at the top and then we're going to have formulas where let's put last study time, people, current, these are roller properties, the progress bar, the total key results, total grade, it, that looks good to me. So you can see now that essentials and formulas are sections within the property group that I can expand and collapse. And that's in relations groups and I can see here the key results. So that's okay with me. I can also move to the panel, move it up, or I can add additional property sections to this group in the layout. In addition, I can also add properties to the panel. And the panel is the right hand side here where I can see properties. And let's say in here, I want to add the progress I can also select large or small, let's do large, then I can add additional properties such as the last additive time, for example. Okay, now I have the layout that I envisioned. So at the top right corner, I can either apply to all pages directly or I can reset to the original page layout. In this case, I want to apply it 
to all the pages. So you can see that if I change the layout on a page, then I can apply it across all the pages like a template. And now this is what the page looks like. At the very top, I have these properties here. Then if I click on the three dots here, this will open the side panel that I can also access from the top right corner, view details, and there's the side panel right here. Then there are the property groups here with the sections where I can see essentials, and then I can see formulas or the automated properties right here. And the page then remains the same. So whatever content is on the page, that is intact from what Notion used to be until a few days ago. So, and that's how you use, and that's how you can customize page layouts on Notion databases. You can see that because we applied that layout to all the pages, which is the only option that you have if you want to save a layout, then if I open any other objective, that layout is persistent. And if I were to change that layout here, that will also change across all the other pages in the database. So that's something that you need to be aware of when making changes to page layouts. If you are editing a template on a database, like this one here, you also have the option to edit the layout in the template. So same exact thing in here, just like before. So I believe that's a very useful feature because especially when you're using centralized databases, which is usually good practice in Notion, and you have many properties that maybe sometimes you do not use, in this way, you can actually group properties by the topic that they refer to, by specific actions that you want to take. And so that makes digesting the information on a page in databases much easier and smoother for any type of user, whether it be a power user, someone that has seen Notion, or someone that is using Notion for the first time in their life. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. You will find the relevant links in the description of the video. See you soon.